JB. AJ. What a weekend where we celebrated Alarm. that women's bodybuilding is at the Olympia, Miss Olympia. How was your Miss Olympia experience, bro? Uh, well, I don't want to talk too much private, but uh, it was a <laughs> long, 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 long weekend. Um, so, but um, I really enjoyed it. I, I enjoyed the show and uh, it was great. It was great. The, the the win again of Andrea, the battle against AG, Angie, sorry, sorry. Wow. Great. We we want to thank all the people on our Instagram because it's exploding during Miss Olympia Week. We want to talk thank to everyone commenting on the yeah. YouTube video you made leading in. Yeah. All the comments. We see them all. We try to respond in our stories. It was crazy. Yeah. And it's so good to have all the girls also be involved, not just the guys. And it's great. And this Olympia was special. We'll be going straight into the action, JB. We yes. will thank Jake Wood, of course, for putting yeah. on the show. Just a, just a second. Uh, also, I want to thank all, all the followers on YouTube. And uh, yeah, for like I said, all the response and my hype video was very <laughs> good, long work. <laughs> and um, yes, and please, if you like our stuff, Subscribe the channel on YouTube, click the bell, and keep commenting. It was great. Thank you. The more comments, the more chances our videos being seen. So keep that up. Yeah. Yeah. And share. We went in to 15 place. Let's talk about all the positives first. First ever. This was last place, sadly, but first yeah. ever appearance from Ava Melillo after winning. What show? Uh, Toronto, Toronto. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We haven't seen anything leading up. She came yeah. in, JB, and talk about what the positive things you saw about Ava Melillo. Uh, I couldn't. Yeah, I can't say something negative, but uh, but uh, I didn't saw on the first side because um, I liked her, liked her shape as always. I like her um, built her shape and her uh, massiveness. <laughs> um, yeah. And uh, so, yeah, for the first Olympia, congratulations. Maybe, I don't know what you're looking at. This was uh, <laughs> completely off. Uh, I there, don't was tell. No, yeah. there was no enjoyment on stage. She just wanted to run off. <laughs> and it was, uh, it was very sad to see that the future women's bodybuilding, there must, something really bad must have happened on prep. As she was way off. And yeah. I don't know what happened. And hopefully she will talk to us. Well, she doesn't talk to, to anyone, to be honest. <laughs> hopefully, yeah. well, she'll just be, have to become better. We don't know what happened. And yeah. but this was not the performance she wanted to display at her first ever Miss Olympia JB. This we can guarantee. Yeah, that's true. But we agreed on positive things. <laughs> Second to last place, JB. Yeah. The shocker of the of the show. And JB, can you explain how Alison, who was top three at last year, <laughs> she went to work with Iris Kyle? Yes, she was <laughs> flat. Yes, she didn't peak. She was shredded, but there, there was no fullness. But JB, from <laughs> third to fourteenth place, bro. <sighs> I don't really know. I don't really know. I think um, it could just be happen on the side. On the side, something happens psychologically. I don't know. He was uh, going to win the show. Yeah, I thought that. I thought it because the, pre the preparation pictures were so great, and uh, uh, I was really happy that she put a mask also. Uh, but maybe she couldn't uh, get it uh, on point with the peak and the the peak week. I don't know what happened. Maybe we ask her. Shredded, but totally over, like, I don't know, man. This yeah. was not the combination Iris Kyle and her and the great husband coach there planned. Yeah. It was super sad after a year away. Yeah. Uh, well, she was injured, so thank uh, that she came back. But this was obviously not the package she wanted to deliver. Uh, yeah. Hunter Henderson and JB, I liked it. Yes. In 13th. Yeah, yeah. Also, um, Olympia debut. Yes, um, and women's bodybuilding. Um, yeah, I was very, I wasn't surprised. I was, yeah, satisfied. She delivered. Um, 
I expected her package. She was great in shape. She was uh, conditioned as she could. Um, yeah, and uh, yeah, a little bit, yeah, small in comparison to the other girls, but um, uh, enjoyment to see. I, I really liked it. I enjoyed it. Wow. You're not going to turn into Andrea Shaw in one week when we saw her at two, three weeks <laughs> no, ago no. at, uh, what was it? Chica uh, what was it? The, the Armaheim show yeah. where she won. Uh, we didn't yeah. see much improvements from that show, but no. she delivered a similar package. Yeah. Big legs, uh, nice flow, femininity, and exciting to see her for the future. Let Next yeah. up, JB, Julia Witzel. And to yeah. me, this was her best ever presentation, something yeah. she's been struggling with. Yeah, She looked like she enjoyed being up there. That made me happy, JB. Yes. I think, uh, yeah, this is, I think, uh, it, I'm sure that the, the Miss Olympia stage has this, um, yeah, this impression uh, made to her. And, uh, yeah, I like her shape. I like the, I like the, 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 the way she moves. Um, yeah, she was happy on stage and she brought that the body we like to see and we expected to see from her. So, good. Thank you very much. She's now working with Boss Outlaw and I think it's good to have like she was working with her husband and sometimes yeah. it's better to keep those things maybe a little bit separated because yeah. it can be a little bit too much. So yeah. we're excited for the 2025 season for her. A good long off season is yeah. needed. Pack on yeah. size and yeah. then be sure bus outlaw with some more time to peek her for whatever shows she wants to do. And JB yeah. in 11th. Oh, JB. I saw her up close. I think you also did in Women's Physique. We yeah. said to her, you, you are getting screwed in physique, and now the girls, women's bodybuilding, are not so big. You yeah. should do the switch right away. And she made this switch, and she beat yeah. the tremendous Roshana in Europe, and she yeah. walked into the Olympia, and she beat a lot of good girls. 11th yeah. place, Alida Oprah. Talk to us, JB. Yeah, Alida Oprah brought yeah, the package um, I expected also. And um, yeah, she, she had... Um, not, yeah, she made a little small, small, small improvements to her last show. Yeah, and, um, definitely. And um, she reminds me on the little bit on, on old school uh, women's bodybuilding on Olympia stage. So these Anya Langer times and so on. Yeah, and uh, much bigger, much bigger, much bigger then. Yeah, um, and uh, it's um, yeah, she could be proud to re represent Hungary. And uh, yeah, so. You, you and me are going to Romania, so we are going to send her DMs to harass us, to harass her to do the show because, <laughs> because yeah. we need to see war in Romania since the female bodybuilding channel is coming. <laughs> uh, JB, now we go into the girls who are able to do routines. So you probably have edited some tremendous routines over the girls now. Yeah. And JB, sadly, she was not happy. The coach did uh, some horrible mistakes, according to her. And mm -hmm. Teresa Ivantich, sadly, did not display the package she wanted. And that is something that's more important than placings when you aren't able to deliver what you worked so hard for. Teresa, yeah. JB, it's not where she wanted to be in 10th place, is it? No, no, definitely definitely not. Uh, she deserved nope. top five normally. Um, and uh, from the name and, and her past uh appearances um so she was just I mean, flat in the legs she was she yeah. wasn't popping and she wasn't happy being yeah. there. like yeah. you can tell something was wrong tremendous beauty great yeah. delts best back in the world yeah. very phenomenal shape but when that body is not peaked it's not the same when you're expecting to go in for top three is it no no it's uh uh we have to speak to her because um I don't really know what would really happen, and uh, also it must be, yeah. When you when you feel it, you come on stage and you know you cannot bring it. And uh, but but a beautiful beautiful overall look still. Though. Yeah, definitely, definitely. So it was it was not uh, off or something. It was not uh, uh, bad. You can say it was. Yeah. It was just not peaked to perfection like we expected. That's it. 
That's it. We know. Here well, comes the, the two mysterious places. First, we got okay, JB. When you saw the first group up in prejudging, JB, I yeah. was sitting there, I was sipping a little bit of vodka, but my mind was clear, and I was looking at the screen, JB, and I saw Acock in the mm -hmm. first comparisons with this was not first call, but the first yeah. comparisons. Yeah. And I was like, oh. Oh, she's <laughs> hard, big, and freaky. What were you thinking with ACOG? Yes, me too. I saw that. Uh, I saw that video, and uh, bah, and I saw um, ACOG. Bah, she was there. She um, she made her uh, impact to the, to the whole um, um, comparison. I thought. I think. Uh, I thought. Bah. Uh, but you know, definitely Miss Olympia contender on the first uh, contender on the first place, for my opinion. For my opinion, you know everybody. Uh, I'm the freaky guy, and um, oh, yeah. she's freaky, all right. Yeah, I loved it. I loved it. I love it so much, and so I'm very yeah, I'm very disappointed, but I'm I'm sad. That's only so. When then a softer, way softer, uh, Lavinia Barros, who she uh, did beat at Rising pretty yeah. easily, I might say. Yeah. Beats her, and like Lavinia is a beautiful aesthetics, but she did l lose to Aiko with those similar beautiful aesthetics, and, yeah. and by a lot just a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. How this art, how sad is it then to go into a new show? Yeah, and then the judges. And you're looking the same. Maybe she said was a little bit flatter, Acock. She said something in her stories that she, she couldn't fill up properly, but it was almost the same. Yeah. And Lavinia, she was not in her... Like, she's great, but she was not shredded at all. Definitely not for prejudging. No. And then this, the, the placing just switched like that. Like, JP, this is not acceptable. No. No, no. Uh, but, uh, but I think, um, yeah... Like it every time is we have a different uh, charging panel panel and uh, come on this yeah, is also my, the same my, my... judging it is it is those two females they are the one also judging Sandy so it's not that big of a change those are the one judging the females at the Olympia so it's not that big of a change JB no it's not <clears throat> maybe a different because Tyler and Weinberg are not the head judges for the girls no they're not yeah but um, uh, yeah, and they're not they judging <laughs> they're not. <laughs> judging rising those men we jb hey, we need on. the men we need the men to judge rising correct yes <laughs> yeah but uh, seriously what? you know we are very equal rights for female men we say yeah. we see no difference but we need the men because they judge the women's bodybuilding more like a bodybuilding competition not what they preferly like yeah oh uh, yeah what i what i want to say is um that uh yeah, it's uh, maybe it's, it's uh, they had a different uh, charging regime at this time, oh. and um, yeah, and they more looked on on the shape because uh, you know um, shape of Lavinia is kind of different. Yeah, we we we're to, gonna uh, come to her later. But you yeah. had Acock higher, yes or no? Yes, definitely. Yes, me too. Uh, Sherry Priami, another one that's super mm. disappointed. She yeah. was shredded. She was full. She presented her physique fantastic. She was top four at the Olympia last. Where did she place a rising? Four? Third? Yeah. No, fourth. Oh. Behind uh, Ashley Jones. Yeah. This yeah. time she fell down to Nadia. She fell down to Christina. She fell down to Lavinia Barros. And do not tell me what. She fell down to Helle. She, she wasn't even in the mix. Yeah. Yeah, I think. But what I what I think is uh, the point that uh, the judges are uh, more focused on on shape, not on uh, condition or math. Yeah, but yeah. her shape is nice. It's nice, uh, but you never know what they were looking for. Maybe they have to sh uh, this come this uh, chaperone, you know, <coughs> this, uh, this uh, template. Her shape was nice <laughs> enough to win Chicago. Her shape yeah. was not nice to be top four in the world last year. Her shape was not good enough to, to be second place to the great Nastenka. Her, her shape's been pretty nice for all other shows. Yeah. I don't really know. And uh, you know, anyway, it. you know, it. to seventh place, Everything someone who has the beautiful shape that I have a picture, as you know, on my kitchen table over, <laughs> over my food where I cook my chicken. That is from <laughs> Lavinia Barros. 
the most beautiful shape in the world. Correct? Almost. Lavinia Barros in seven. Almost. Yep. <laughs> yeah, Fantastic, yeah, yeah. huh? Yeah, yeah. You have pretty much have a different picture, so don't lie. <laughs> I have Andrea <laughs> over the, the bedroom wall, and I have Lavinia over the kitchen. Yeah. And then yeah, I yeah. have uh, uh, Brandon Curry over in my living room. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah. Lavinia Barros, great game. Um, yeah. fantastic body, fantastic, fantastic body. But uh, I think the details uh, in, the, in the legs uh, were not really there uh, as I expected. So it was sad. But well, well, but a good place she, for it. She's working now with her new coach. I spoke to him. I can't. Yeah. It, it's Amandinia's boyfriend. It's both of them. It's, I think his name Dominic Dom, Dom or Don. Yeah. Yeah, something. About, yeah. Don't care about coaching. Uh, he's he's just worked with her for six weeks. Uh, he learned her body for this show. He yeah. said that he would, didn't want to drop water or there was something. And but mm -hmm. he learning her body from this show. Yeah, you saw she was much improved for the finals, correct? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, Made because they did some magic. You can see the yeah. video is out on our Instagram. We have some yeah. leg videos there on our front page. Uh, yeah. The water was starting to drop, and she looked much more improved. And I have high hopes for Lavinia. And I am also doing politics to get her into Romania because I want to see Lavinia Barros. I want to see Nadia. I want to see Hagit. I want to see Alidra. I want to see Roshana. I want to see all the freaks do battle because female bodybuilding is coming. <laughs> and now we're going to the places yeah. that impressed us the most in top six, JB. And finally, she stepped on the stage in, in, in the Women's Bodybuilding Olympia stage. We've been waiting since 2018. And Christina Nicole, tell us, talk to us about Christina, JB. Um, I'm happy that she made it, that placing uh, in, in the Olympia. Congratulations, Christina. Finally, <laughs> yes, we did it. You yeah. did it. <laughs> And um, yeah, what I I thought that um, she was beautiful, beautiful to see on stage. There was a, a great appearance. Uh, this grace she brought on stage, uh, always heads up and a little bit smiling, and yeah, and doing her show. The body, yeah, legs very good. No matter what, uh, upper body, yeah, we had to discuss before. So yeah. But uh, also, overall, great appearance and uh, the shape is all good. She has to look that the mainstream bodybuilding fans or like, I wouldn't say, but she has to look that the, the fans of the sport, the people that like figure, the people that like bikini, the people that mm -hmm. like wellness, the people that like bodybuilding, you know, like the overall like pro league supporter type yeah. of look, right? Well, you know, that beautiful skin, guys, yeah. hair, face. Um, flow, detail, um, uh, that front lat spread is just phenomenal. You know, this yeah. it's just it flows, you know. She has that flow. Yeah. The legs, tremendous. Now, we got to build the upper body up to keep climbing, and yeah. that, I predict, is the goal, correct? Yes. It has a yes. really goal. A beautiful routine also, as yeah, always. Yeah. You see. Yeah. Top five and JB, now you must take over the show. What did you feel? Because you predicted it, but talk yeah. to us a little bit, JB. Talk to us a little bit about the journey from health to this, from retirement to this. Nadia yes. Kopotosto in fifth. Yes, Nadia Kopotosto plays in fifth. Congratulations, Nadia. Tutto bene. Oh, I'm so happy. And um, yeah, you know, everybody, um, she had uh, she retired because she had health problems with the liver and she had uh, some, um, yeah, you see it in our stories and in the interview, uh, and then she made uh, a decision that she, she wants to be in Miss Olympia. And then two years ago, she um, got, comes back in gym, uh, comes back with eating some stuff and straight goes on, say, my goal is to be on Miss Olympia stage. And this year, straight after fabulous wins, she made it. And I'm so happy. But with her, um, yeah, the, the, the body she has, the, the flow she has, uh, everyone's 3D, she bubbles, she has great grace on stage, that's very important. And uh, yeah, I'm so happy and my heart is pounding. <laughs> so it, it, 
Plus, we've supported her a lot yeah. and we've hyped her a lot and with good yeah. reason. But finally, she didn't even make the Olympia, bro. Yeah. She killed the Olympia. She had the best conditioning with aesthetics for the judges, meaning uh, she had better, she had the same condition as a Sherry and Angie and uh, ACOG, but her flow, well, Angie also has the flow, but yeah. she had the flow over ACOG and Sherry, according to the judges. Yeah. She had granite glutes, but yeah. she also has that grace and elegance, and those yes. shoulders okay. are like, mm. it's, it's sec it's, you know that freaky body part every yeah. woman or man need at least one freaky body part yeah. to stand out and she has that delt that's just like from all angles they just pop yeah. up round and like freaky and congratulations and yeah. hopefully we will see her in Romania but so far she will be female bodybuilder almost female bodybuilder of the year if you look at the whole year almost um I would almost. say yeah, I would say yes, and uh, I think the the, the best comeback of the year. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Congratulations. The top four is really the girls that came to play to win. Yeah, and JB first of all, Hella Trivino, she was so hot. Yeah, I didn't even know it was her. The transformation <laughs> yeah. was a mix of Hella Trivino and Mariah Carey. It was <laughs> yeah. incredible. That new hair piece. With the yeah. suit, with the tan, with the makeup, with the delts, with the arms, with the back, with the legs, with the with, with the conditioning. Yeah. I didn't even recognize her. Talk about you and, and Helle. Yeah, I'm yeah. As everybody knows, maybe um I know Helle since over ten years and uh, we are all big friends now. Uh but on the first sight I didn't recognize her. So oh. surprised. <laughs> so surprised. So so hot. Yeah. Oh uh, really, really, really I say come <laughs> on. Uh, who are you? Marry me. <laughs> uh, and, uh, <laughs> but uh, yes, as she made such improvements to the last uh, appearances she made, uh, she was so round to the compared oh. to the last ones. Bah! And uh, detailed and everything is on. Legs were like sliced. Her delts were up. Midsection was nice and tight. Yeah, and she was broad on the upper body. And yeah, she brought her best condition ever. So Oh. It's really right. good, really good, really good. Yeah. Uh, is this her best ever? I don't think this is her best ever, but I think this is one of her best looks. I don't know yeah, if best. this would beat the 2019 package, I don't think, but I think this is definitely maybe second or third best look, wouldn't you say? Um, I think from uh, from the first look, and but not, not the stats, but uh, I remember on 2013... She was yeah. oh, uh, wow. much, much bigger. And okay. um, yes, but um, you know, the time changes. But um, yeah. So since then, it was the best, I think. Yeah. And also to, to, to keep improving small things. And when she's past like 40, yeah. it's very, very impressive. And yeah. after being away for two years, she's been working really hard. And yeah. it's like, her and Gina Cavallero, the team, and uh, Boss Outlaw, who's just had a sh short prep with her, but yeah. Gina has always been there and to display this. And I yeah. felt, we can talk about it a little bit later, I thought she didn't get the look she deserved. I thought yeah. she was just to be able to stand next to Ashley because mm -hmm. she has superior size advantage over Ashley. Yeah. I'm not saying that the pledges are wrong, but no. it's hard to judge Ashley and Trevino when they're not even next to each other, correct? Yeah, that's that's it. That's it. That's yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Um, Ashley Jones, uh, that's Amazon Fitness Mag, our former sponsor there, uh, as yeah. girl and JB. Yeah. Her hams, her glutes, her back detail, her, her <laughs> quads, her structure, her fullness, her freshness. Pop, 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 JB, why are you into Ashley Jones? You you heard it. Just second yeah, Well, there you go. Yeah, pop, 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 pop. Oh, yes, she has the popping out muscles everywhere, and uh, the, also the also the shape uh, is there. Oh, pop, 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 pop. And uh, she has that look. Uh, she has that shape. Everyone wants to, as a female bodybuilder, wants to have. Yeah, you know, she this uh, hourglass uh, shape everywhere. Everything is standing out, and also the details are there. That's very important. People 
people live or even though she's losing yeah. to like 20 30 pounds over the rest yeah. they're saying you can't notice this on stage because yeah. her illusion is like crazy bro that's it that's it that's it for her frame she has that you can say in quote marks perfect you know so correct we want to say then we wish we would have seen hella and her because we believe mm -hmm. the athletes who are not they were not fighting for the win per they were yeah. fighting for second and third they yeah. deserve to be compared like the men back and forward in and out and, you yeah. know what i mean like they need they because the bikini girls they get it <laughs> they get tons of looks why yeah. can't the best women in the world and everyone knows women's bodybuilding is the hardest female class yeah. why aren't they allowing the hardest working girls to at least get a look to at least get be compared jb come on that's that's the problem we have we have since the yes uh, since big the, problem since the um um uh cut of the olympia in 20 something <laughs> i don't remember anymore i don't remember, I don't remember um yeah that's uh that the old um yeah this before I challenge the... jb i challenge anyone to go watch a full bikini sh uh show and then you will see the girl in second is compared with the girl in third the girl in seventh is all of a sudden compared to the girl in fifth then they put the girls in then they put them out then they walk to the back and then they turn around yeah. we're not dissing bikini but we don't understand why are these girls getting compared a thousand times why ma but tremendous masterpieces like Ashley Jones and Hill Trevino doesn't even stand next to each other when they are third and fourth? Uh, one, one thesis is that uh, they don't want to see it. First yeah, thing. correct. Yeah, because you're right. I don't, I don't look. I don't like women's body. Mm -hmm. Blah blah blah. Could be. Don't get me wrong. Or the um, results were clear. So, Ashley Jones. What a tremendous performance this year. Yeah. New York Pro, close battle with Lavinia, but deserved win. Rising yeah. Phoenix, another close battle with Sherry there. Top three, well-deserved. And now a well-deserved uh, close battle with Trevino. Well, we would like to see more call-outs, but she won. Yeah. And this year for Ashley Jones, JB, a 10 out of 10 success. Definitely. 10 out of 10. Definitely. Came, coming from... Um, Women's physique, physique? yeah, mm. going to women's bodybuilding, and the step was right. Normally New York pro, New York pro champion, rising third, Olympia third. That's what you call. She's not a rookie because she's competed before, yeah. but a, a women's bodybuilding rookie of the year in a way. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah. I would uh, definitely sign that. Yeah. Here we go into the moment fans obviously have waited for. That was the build-up that was on the posters. Yeah. Maybe let's take a look at the... Maybe we are looking at the front. We're going to go through the posters now because this was a great battle. Andrea Shaw, she came much bigger and improved for Rising. Are you agree? Yeah. And then Rising? Yeah, definitely true. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, she made it. We're going <laughs> into the front double, JB. Yeah. And when we're looking at it, I'm looking at the legs of Angie, and I'm seeing legs of Andre are way up. Are we correct? Yeah. Conditioning-wise, we are going, uh, um, what do you call, Angie, correct? Yeah. Yeah. Midsection, I will go Andre, uh, Angie. Yeah. Uh, the shape of the silhouette in the front double, JB, this is pretty equal. Who would you go for there? Uh, that's uh, not that easy, so uh, but, I know. uh yeah, but uh, an overall shape, um, yeah, Andrea, yeah, and the arms of Andrea front double, in my opinion, you need to have big guns. And if yeah. you look at the guns of Andrea, they are the best of all time almost in women's bodybuilding biceps, correct? Triceps, biceps, uh, on Olympia stage, yes. Yes, because and and they're not for people who don't know. Yeah. Some girls and guys inject things in their arms so they have a weird look. There's nothing injected into Andrea's arms. No, no, no. no. So front double for me, very hard, slight yeah. edge Andrea, but I do see the leg advantage on Angie. Who do you have in the front double? Front double, and we're looking at it, and we're pausing yeah. it, and front double JB. 
kind of similar things as the front double, isn't it? On uh, Angie, a little bit better legs, but Andrea's legs came up a lot. Andrea is wider, taller, yeah. better arms, better delts. Uh, Angie has better midsection and is a better condition. How do you see the front lat spread? Yeah, I could. Yeah, uh, can agree. Yeah, you said it. Yeah, <laughs> Andrea Shaw, huh? Yeah, two. Yeah. Two zero. Let's yeah. go into the next pose, and then we are seeing the glutes peeled on Angie as we go yeah. into the side chest, and we are yeah. pausing it and we're looking at it. And what are you seeing? Uh, oh, look at those arms on Andrea, but look at the cross striations chest and Angie and yeah. the glutes and the hams in the side chest. Where are you going? Yeah, from condition wise, it's, uh, it's Angie. And all about look. Yeah. So you like Angie in the side chest because of the, 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 the everything that's exploding yeah. everywhere? Yes, that's true. And also, uh, Andrea uh, made a mistake uh, that uh, the hair is over the, over the chest, uh, pecs. Yeah. So you don't see the pecs at all. Yeah, that's sad. Yeah. That's Those not it. Yeah. 2 1. We're going yeah. 2 1. Then. Yeah. They are turning around. They go into back the double. back double biceps oh, and we're passing it. And JB, yeah. we can instantly see that Andrea Shaw's hamstrings and glutes are really improved from the Rising Phoenix. Is that something you see also here? Yeah, that's true. Um, I think the, um, the um, voluptuousness of uh, Andrea's. Uh, Glutes are oh, a bit way, but uh, sli slightly better than uh, Angie's. Uh, but Angie's condition is better. So uh, the back width of Angie is more impressive, correct? Yes, yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's uh, not the thickness. Not the thickness. No, the thickness is uh, yeah. Andrea, yeah. so yeah. Ha looking at this, it's a close back double bar. Who are we going with? Uh, from the overall, um, I go with Andy. Uh, okay, I can agree. That's two two. Yeah. And then we are loading up yeah. for the back lat spread, JB. And in the back lat spread, JB, I'm going Andrea. Yes, yes. The the, the um, lower section of the of the back is definitely better. Yeah. And um, yeah. the legs are rooking big yes. from the back. And also, yeah. the glutes are great shape to them. Yeah, back shoulders are also better. Shoulders are better, and the arms are much, much better. Mm -hmm. yeah. So now we are 3-2, three. Three, is it? Yeah. And then we are turning around, and then we are going into yeah. something that no woman can ever beat Andrea Shaw in, and that is the legendary... Triceps. Side triceps. Is that yeah, correct, yeah. Uh, JB? Yeah, yeah, yeah. triceps. Yeah. <laughs> look at the look at the meat on the triceps. So yeah. you remember Lee Priest? Yeah. Oh yeah. It's, this is like Lee Priest, huh? Yeah. Don't get me. But uh, obviously, way more beautiful. Don't get me in situations. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, uh, Angie has really great conditioning, and we're looking at the hamstrings in uh, in in. In Angie, but yeah. in the side triceps, the arms are the main focus for us, not just the legs, correct? Yeah, that's true. The one want Lucas uh, definitely going to Andrea. 4 2. Yeah. And then we are going into the abs and thigh. Yeah. Let's see it. And JB, this is signature Andrea Shaw. The, the, the mm -hmm. one hand on the. they they doing it. Yeah. Equal, but Andrea has her arms straight behind her back. Ahead. Why Andrea is twisting it and it's more feminine. And she yeah. she also then displays her huge shoulders and arms. You see it? Yeah. And the volume in her legs. Even though Angie has better condition and a smaller waist, we're going Andrea show here, aren't we? Uh I know. I would go uh, Angie because the condition she shows there is um way better. This is the signature, Andrea Shaw, absent one hand on the hip, 
Wong yeah. Hang Dai, beautiful, elegant. I don't, I don't agree. So there we are. There we are. Split. <laughs> Split, meaning no one gets a point, makes yeah. it still 4-2, correct? Yeah, yeah. And then we are, I, I would still like, to, I love the way uh, Hela Trevino does the abs and tie, the very singular there. And we didn't yeah. see any most muscular, obviously, because it's not a post in women's bodybuilding, sadly. Uh, yeah. Then we add in condition, yeah. Angie, but Andrea Shaw, was improved condition. We yeah. add in the beautiful aesthetics. There we go, Andrea, all the way, correct? Yeah. yeah. Making yeah. Andrea Shaw your 2024. And it was on the scorecard. It was a perfect score, even though I don't believe I, I'm not so into this perfect score all the time because it doesn't yeah. show the whole picture. Even yeah. though the, in, in men bodybuilding, they usually judge it differently. Their perfect score is more worth more because they yeah. take more time. Here it's just like perfect score. It is what it is. Yeah. Uh, Andre Shaw, JB, first, let's talk about the pasta before we go about Angie, because we're going to end it with Andrea. Talk to us a little bit about Angie this year. How proud, because I know you talked to her a little bit on the phone, uh, like weekly yeah. or monthly, or but like, how proud are you with what you've been seeing the last two, three years from the star and the second best bodybuilder confirmed in the world and also Rising Phoenix. She got some cash, well-deserved money. How proud are you of Angie? Yeah, Angie made uh, made uh, how can I say it? It's, oh, sorry. Oh, whoops. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, 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 Angie is um, yeah. She made what we ex uh, what I expected and I wished for her that uh, she climbed up, uh, especially the win for Rising Phoenix. Then she uh, improved her, her body tremendously, I think, and. Um, yeah, she, she can. She um, yeah, wiped out uh, weaknesses she had, and now you can see. Uh, and at, at Olympia, the condition is way more better. Um, she shows, uh, yeah, I think um, a perfect mix of of shape and condition and and mass. Uh, even if she could put on more, I think, and um, yeah, but uh, so great to see that uh, the, the long journey. From uh, yeah, middle field to now top two in Miss Olympia. Uh, it's uh, seamlessly um, with no um, example, I think. What I like about her is that women's bodybuilding, like male bodybuilding, like people like us, I like to go to yeah. the gym and train and inject things, and <laughs> it's not nor it's not normal people. And yeah. she has a different, she's not going by the mainstream flow. She's not trying to be like everyone else. Because bodybuilding is not for, it, it is outcast. It is different people. And yeah. with her, I'm not into this witch things because I'm a Catholic man. But like, I don't look down on it. You know what I mean? It, it's yeah. her. It's different. It's her style, you know, her posing. You can feel it. The in, the the, the individ, individuality is what it's called, yeah. I think. Uh, yeah. Her hair, her makeup, her posing, her her like sexiness, uh, mysterious. It's like this yeah. is. I don't like when we're trying to mainstream something. Cora I said it the other day. You can't yeah. mainstream something that's not ever going to be. Women's bodybuilding is never going to be mainstream. Just like bodybuilding is never going to be no. mainstream. Never. Uh, never. Uh, bikini is not even going mainstream. So <laughs> no. you can't go mainstream on something that's not meant to be. This is for freaks. This is for yeah. us. This is for people who enjoy being different. To, yeah. to, to have that goal and you can mainstream something that's not supposed to be mainstream and Angie, a, a representation great representation of, of all the different type of indiv individualities we have in bodybuilding because we're all very different and I love her for that and uh, she'll be right back at it next year and ready to do damage but JB, yeah. Yeah, we're ending moment. it with JB you go first yeah, just Andrea a Shaw just a moment just a moment. A, just a moment just a moment just yeah. a moment I want uh, also, like you said, it. I want to also to react to some German guys who commented directly on the prejudging. Um, that um, yeah, Re regarding Angie, she has her different look. She stands to it. That's the uh, most important thing. And um, yeah, she is what she likes to be, and she is always there 
you uh, we heard it after the after the accident with her husband and so on um and she stands to it and i like it because she's not really against everything in america but <laughs> she's very yeah different and uh thank you for that angie thank you for that now we're gonna go talk on. To us before i talk to it and with andrea yeah. andrea jb yeah talk to us a little bit from 2019 when we discovered her and started hyping her for the omaha yeah. pro i think we yeah. were the first one that really started pushing her hard she hadn't even won the show yet she hadn't even competed in women's bodybuilding really yeah. and we discovered her and put her on the map well we're bragging a little bit now but she <laughs> discovered herself but yeah. Talk to us a little bit about that, Andrea, into the fight. Like Booker T. Five times. Five times. <laughs> First Miss Olympic champion. <laughs> yeah. Sucker. No. But, <laughs> JB, what type of growth have you seen in Andrea as a person, as an athlete, this last five years that you've been covering her career? And also, for people at home, if it wasn't for JB editing all her videos, uh, posting her video i do the instagram yes but for youtube yeah. he's been finding her video like putting it out because he's the first one well he was the one edited but like we were the first one but he actually has to find the coverage like yeah. we want to thank jb because because of you more people know who andrea shaw and her legacy will be remembered for generations also because you put the because if there's no footage out for people to see then people can't remember it but jb talk to us then Andrea Shaw, how, how what's your evolution been like for you watching her? Um, I'm very proud that I could uh, witness this uh, evolution of her um, because um, yeah, she went from uh, I can kind of say um, yeah, I'm so bad at English. <laughs> average, average women's physique uh, girl competing also in figure before, and then straight up and said, okay. I want to do women's bodybuilding, and she said it, and began her journey. Also, not from 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 the outside, maybe also her coach, but but uh, she said it, and I want to be Miss Olympia. Started the journey, then it takes two years, and then she wakes first Olympia, Rising Phoenix win, bam, 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 bam. <laughs> and also she um she um ev evoluted um in in person. She got more professional she got more uh, focused on that stuff but also didn't forget her um private engagement she has also uh with uh with her job and her um oh. yeah i think she does yeah for um i think for public stuff and so on um caring about other people and um yes and then uh finally found a, a main sponsor also they was uh, very happy about it newton is very caring about her a lot so thank you to mutant and um so it's 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 a it's dream and her dream come came true and i'm very proud to be witness of it that's what i was saying i'm going to say also not to mention the body everybody sees the body involved very plus yeah great uh with andrea shaw this win yeah. really made me happy because on many levels but we've seen andrea back in the day yeah. She stood out to us, uh, the body, but it was something about her, you know, her face, the way she lights up, you know, yeah. you know, those first videos with her flexing yeah. in the videos and, you know, the gym video where her, she's flexing in the hotel or like, you know, like the yeah. flexing video. and you yeah. just saw the eyes and the, you just could see the soul. Yeah. And to go from that to like being the face of women's bodybuilding with no scandals. Yeah. No gifts. She didn't. Ha she hasn't gotten any easy wins. No. Yeah. No, like, like she hasn't done anything wrong. Build her body consistently, knowing what it takes for women's body. But this is not easy. But we, all eyes are on you. She carried the sport alone. Not you can't say alone, but as the yeah. sole representative for five years. JB, no injury. Not doing. She's always doing each show. She says she's going to do. She's doing it. And she's yeah. going in to win and she's putting a routine on. Yeah. And to see her go from that with, as you said, Mutant was a mainstream yeah. sponsor behind her and yeah. also her own show. 
to put yeah. on another show for women yeah. by women, you know, with Sydney. Uh, it's a I not rest in peace to Sydney, but uh, thank you for the retirement, like for the all the years she just yeah. retired. Thank you, Sydney, for a tremendous job. And with Whitney yeah. Joel, and to do all those things, JB, you can just see if you go all in, and she's not young. She did it when she started when she was like 35 with Miss Bodybuilding. Yeah. So to do this and achieve what she's done, she deserves all the money she's gotten, all the credit, all the fans. I'm really happy and I'm really proud. And it's really cool that we were part of like yeah. the hype train for all these years. And we will still be forever and ever. And yeah. it's very cool to have the female bodybuilding channel, JB, because these are the division and the girls that we love the most yeah. and respect the most. And to be able to bring the viewers... This, because every year, our, we're telling every story, JB. Every year, all the shows, all the wrap-ups, we do this. We get no money. But we I know that our work will live on forever in the land of women's bodybuilding. And even yeah. though we critique the girls, we critique them just because we have to tell the truth. We're not trying to bring them down. That is to give the girls a legit channel where people can go and see what's going on. And we thank Andrea Shaw yeah. for being the, the greatest representative of women's bodybuilding since... Alenda Murray and Iris Kyle, and uh, she amazed me at the Olympia. And she also JB, she was she lost rising fairly, yeah, and she got better and won the Olympia fairly, and that's yeah. the heart of a lion. <laughs> yeah, uh, JB, who do you want to thank before we go? Um, I want to thank, especially uh, now for my family. I cared about me two years ago. Uh, I had my heart attack. And um, also, I think all the fans, all the viewers, all the followers, also the haters, they bring us also up. <laughs> and uh, and I want to thank um, Jake Wood and also the bad and the good girls, guys, uh, leading us. And um, yeah. Also, you for accompanying, uh, accompanying me, stressing me. <laughs> <laughs> Very important to be stressing your ass. We live in slower. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, hopefully uh, we'll survive this year. And um, uh, also, yeah, all the athletes following us, uh, communicating with us, communication is the most important thing we have uh, on the channel, on Instagram, and so on. <laughs> and um, yeah, and the universe. Thank you. Mm. I don't want to thank anyone right now. I want to say that I hope that the universe, for me, God, for JB Universe, I hope the universe has a plan for a female bodybuilding channel in 2025 to be part of uh, the organization or like a bodybuilding contest or something official that we can put our passion and energy into something more than just the female bodybuilding, even though how great the female bodybuilding channel is, but to put our passion and our love for women's bodybuilding in the position to make the division grow, as I believe is needed. It need more people like JB and myself who has passion and knowledge and care for it yeah. to take it even further to the next level. And I want to, I'm hoping for that. And I want to also say to all the girls out there, please, yeah. It's growing season, but remember, we lost a lot of girls' health, lives, the mental, because of bodybuilding. Do it safely, but get huge. <laughs> yeah. And we are out. Yeah. <laughs>